lived a life unsupported, legs cracking beneath us, ignoring the sound of old splintered pieces, unable to move, unable to stay, like the old pier that rots away. Poetry Leaves is a yearly celebration put on by the Waterford Public Library to celebrate poetry, but where did it come from and how did it start? The idea for Poetry Leaves came when committee member Sue Camilleri was traveling on the west side of the state and happened across another library's exhibition of poetry. She took the idea to Joan Rogers, director of the Waterford Public Library, who loved it and was more than happy to help her put on this exhibition of their own. With the framework in place, she needed someone who knew about publishing, and poet and professor at Oakland University, Glenn Armstrong, was more than happy to help. Library director Joan Rogers' favorite part about the exhibition is all of the children's poetry. And she arranged for the first workshops that Glenn did over there. And the thing that came out of that connection with the schools um, was all of the artwork. Because the students, they would write their poems out and then they would just do these beautiful drawings. The adult leaves for the exhibition look like this today, but let's take a look at what they used to look like. This is what the leaves used to look like the very first year. It was 2014 and Sue and her family took the time to cut out and lacquer and apply the poems and information to about a hundred leaves. Every year since then, they've had a ribbon cutting ceremony with readings from the children and adults alike to celebrate the poetry and open the exhibition officially. Now we've gotten submissions from all over the world and we can't wait to see what the future holds for Poetry Leaves.